Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, good evening, good evening. Uh, so we're making some salara. I took a little video of how we parched the coconut and all the seeds and all the nice um, spices we put in the coconut uh, with the sugar. So I'll put that video right after we go live. So right now, uh, mommy's gonna roll it out. I'm still working outside, so that's why I'm not cooking. But I'm trying to switch it. There you go. So tell me there, mommy. She's so rolling. Sam, it finished raised. We mashed it about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. So it raised, so I'm going to put the coconut inside now. Oh, geez. I don't think I even put a title what? to say what we're doing. Guys, we're making salara. <laughs> we're making salara right now. Sandy working all day with the yard, so she even forgot what she got. I know, I know. I all day I'm working in the yard, and Tommy's been gone all day too working, and so he's tired. He's resting a little bit, and uh, I, I I still have a few things to get done, and um, so like I said, as you're getting on here, thank you so much for being here. Mommy and I were making some salara. Uh, mommy, tell him the story, man. From since well, I was a, yes, yes. since I smile, she does there with me. When me used to make these things for sale. Sandy does there wrong. She know to do it. I I will go and sell Salara for all my la good and more friends. Okay, la good and more. They know me as a Salara girl. Okay, they know me as a Salara girl. From since I was a little little girl. Um. Uh, my mom and I will be cooking in the kitchen and selling because I was the oldest, okay? So I was the oldest. I'll get up with her. Salara, let's make buns. Buns, yeah. go, go, la, me, yeah. thai, go, yes. ja. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, and then she will sell planting chips, cassava chips, egg ball, pulauri, all that growing up from since Mommy growing like up. Mommy those things. Yeah. So let me show you this here. Hey, Tommy, yeah. can you go on your phone and just yeah. put, put in making Salara? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, guys, look at this. Look at this here. I don't know if you want to come so here. Roll it like this. And uh, so, put in the coconut. I will make. And again, I will show you. I have a little video that I took just before this, and I will put it up as soon as we finish with this live. And what we are using right now, the color is not completely red. And tell me how you put on the um the light. Is it on there now? The light. Okay, guys, we're we're not using um, coloring. We're actually using beetroot. <clears throat> we're using beetroot for the color beetroot uh, because John is allergic to the red dye. So I'm not using the red dye. So this here is all natural. Beetroot is a natural coloring. Uh, let me show you over here. What is Solara? Solara is a coconut bread. It's like a bread. And it's with coconut and you just kind of roll the coconut and make a roll. It's a roll with coconut. So, so, and I call it Salara. Um, it's, so it's pretty much like bread dough and with coconut. <clears throat> and it's like a stuffing, but you roll it like how mommy do have it here. You roll it and then you're going to see in a minute uh, when she roll it. So it's like a, what do you call the thing? Um, what, here in America, like a cinnamon roll, but with coconut. So uh, where we are, we are looking for a beetroot. We okay. put some butter in here, base it with some butter, or if you have the spray, we call it spray. Uh, Non-stick spray, butter yes. spray. But too. I just put some butter and, and base it with the flour for the bread and the stick. And this is what we are using for color, beetroot. So it's a, a ground vegetable, and um, it actually will make the, give it nice color. There is not much taste to it, it tastes earthy. So there's not much taste to it. And like I said, as soon as we hang up this phone, I'm going to show you, we took a little video of us making this, this the, um, the stuffing and all this nice, delicious things we put in it. They're saying it's also known as red cake, right? Yeah, 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 you, yes, yes so red cake. You call it red cake. Yes. So this now, you see why we left the, the end in? Because we don't want the juice when it bake to leak out. So now, now we're going to fold it like this. I know, man. Mommy, you remember, gosh. It like this. We used to do this and bake it in the fire side. Remember, mommy? Yeah. Oh, and do gosh. it like this. 
I baked it in the oven before, not a regular oven. I burn coals and I have it in my grill and I bake salara. I love it that way. Ready? Then you will roll it like this. Then you're gonna try to pinch it for many rays for the juice. Not to come out. The juice and out. the sugar and the coke not to come out. And these are some delicious coconut <clears throat> that we actually peeled and grate. Uh, mommy actually grated, grated it today uh, in our last live. Check it out, check it out. This is so much fun. Maybe some of you guys don't do it like this. Maybe you have a better technique, okay? But me does do it like this, like. In Trinidad, oh. they say they call it coconut roll. Okay, maybe yes. Everybody got their own thing. <coughs> You can also do this with pineapple. I love to do it with pineapple and raisins. I do that all the time also. So you're going to put a pinch of the butter. Nice, nice. But check out this fresh grated coconuts. Look. And the color is deep, like a deep uh, pink because of the beetroot. We use natural coloring, natural coloring. Hmm? Hmm. Man, I will get I will get the best. <coughs> Mommy Wally, you wanna leave a little bit on the side for Johnny to make his pie bake with? Johnny I'm gonna make you one thing because this is a little bit already. Okay, okay. You see, this little bit of ready for this flour. Mm -hmm. So we let it sit for about, we let it sit for about half an hour and then we'll be baking it. Who knows? Um, if I'm done with my work, I'll be taking a shower and I'll be coming on live, putting it in the oven and I can chit chat and things like that. So if you have any questions or so, you know, let us know in the comments. They um, say you can also roll it, and they also call it a coconut tart or roll. Oh, nice. Yeah, different people got different names for it, but we call it, Guyanese call it Salara. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, guys, um, yes, growing up, my mom will make this, and I will go sell, and it was one of my best seller. Right, Mommy? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm always sold out. I'm always, all the guys at the seawall, all the fishermen will buy from me, all the guys who sell um, the soap factory. They used to be in fouls. Yeah. They all used to be my biggest customers. I'll go around with a basket, man. And let me tell you, people will be fighting for the end of it because the end is always most of the coconuts and the juice. And They'll the end, be... that's more cripsy too. Yeah, and they're always fighting for the end. And uh, oh my gosh, I think people still owe me money from <laughs> selling Salara. Yeah. Yeah, and greens. <laughs> but man, oh my gosh, I used to come home from school and mommy will already have it ready for me to go. Mommy, I'm tired because mommy focus here. I know, I know. I know when last I make this. Okay, I gotta excuse me. I know when last I make Salara. When was the last time I made Salara, Tommy? I think, oh gosh, I think a long time ago, right? Two years, right? Yeah. Two years ago or so. I know when I make Salara. Your tarts. Last oh man, I, I, let me tell you, I, I make one of the best pint hearts. Well, at least I'm not so good with the with the um, flower part, okay? But the, the, the pineapple tart, the pineapple mixture itself. Um, last year I had one pineapple tart, or the, the mixture was preserving for two years, and it was so good. Oh man, I need to get more pineapple and do that again. Is it? Mm -hmm. I tried to squeeze in them. Mm -hmm. I juice like it Look at this here, guys. Look. Maybe you can put that on top, mommy. Huh? Let you go on the top. Wow. So, making some Solara, like I said, it's been ages, ages. The thing is, I try to stay away from a lot of sweet. I just try to stay away from a lot of sweet. So, sweets. So that's why I don't really make Solara unless, or make these things unless I have company. 
And this morning, I, I know I have some coconuts from our friend um, Lynette, right? Uh, and Derek, is it Lynette? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, they actually gave us some coconuts to make Solara. We didn't. We only grate one and a half coconut. So whatever the coconut is making, just two. And, um, uh, Annette, Annette. Annette, 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 Annette. Yes, Mr. Bissoon, um, Esther Bissoon, Annette, Michelle. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if we'll be, when we're coming down to Jupiter, we'll also make some over there because we're not coming down to Jupiter in the next few days. How is it looking there, Mommy? That looks mm -hmm. good. So you, uh, we'll let it sit for about half an hour, right? Yeah, and if I sit, then you'll put them in. Then I'll put it in there. Yeah. And yes. And when you take them out, you'll get one brush or a tape and butter. With some butter. Even in half, we're baking, you take it out and put some butter on it. Listen to me, Mommy. Not too perfect because this, I didn't okay. bake mostly, but. But ten year or more, look how long I make back. Let me tell you, when we just to Aunt. Oh gosh, my Aunt, even she come from, uh, from America when I live, even you know the number one, Sarah. Let me tell you, my mom. Let me. We used to sell this a long time ago. We used to sell this a long time ago. Uh, my hope, my little life boy, you know, before seeing me, other than like shrimp from what my mom will catch and vegetables we grow. The first thing I started to sell, walking around and selling, was salara and buns. Then I moved up to um, greens and different things like that. So, man, uh, my mom, most of the time, is salara. We started with just salara. My basket will be full of salara. Oh, my gosh, I can see it right in my eyes right now. And, um, and then we started doing little buns, little buns. So they used to be salara and buns. Then, mom, then people like the, the, the coconut, the fresh grilled coconut, so mom, we started to make goja. Mm -hmm. And we started to sell goja. And then, um, certain times she'll make gogola, and we'll sell that too. Oh my gosh, I love it. Right, and then, um, <clears throat> I didn't know to make what Sandy auntie, she passed away now, she named Chano. She used to work at a baker shop. And she te teach me how to do, do the cellar and so on. And back in these days, we used to have a hole in the ground, and that's where we will bake with. So even now, a lot of times I will put on the, I will just light up a bunch of coals in my oven uh, on the grill outside and bake out there. Most of the stuff, all my cakes, all that stuff, I like to bake it outside. Ah, uh, wow! <laughs> so much memories, so much memories. But like I said, we so we're just letting this sit. And yeah, um, a couple minutes, 15 minutes, and you, will, you know the temperature they open. Yeah, yeah, like at 350 so for about more, half an hour. Yes, so 350, not too much. Well, we don't know what the temperature they open. We don't have a temperature. We don't just check, pull out, check, and then I'm pushing back. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, here it is like bread. Bake it like bread, like 350 mm -hmm. um, on okay. a 350. For about maybe this might take about 25 to 30, 25 mm -hmm. to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I will check on it. Mm -hmm. I don't like it overcooked. Mm -hmm. I like it a little when you when you close it down like this, it stays like yeah, that. But the, the flour that yeah, where the flour cooked, but you mm -hmm. know what I mean, mommy. You know when where it's not overcooked like dry. Mm -hmm. Oh man, mm -hmm. that's when in in Guyana when mm -hmm. we used to make it. That was the best, the best salara, mm -hmm. best. Oh, such good memories, such good memories. <clears throat> so we'll wait a little bit uh, to put those in and let's go outside and let me show you what we're doing out here. It's dark. Let me just give you a little uh, it's dark out here. It's completely nice. So we're still doing a little bit of painting. Um, you know, we've been painting for the last week, right Tommy? Yes. And it's not well, even half the painting. It's not full time. We're working and doing other yes, jobs. Yes, it's not the whole day painting. But like I said, since since we had this house, we haven't had an. We've been living in it what three months. Yeah. Go and come, go and come, and we've been gone for half those time. So we're back cleaning because all the leaves from two hurricanes that went by, and the dust and everything just just um. So we're just cleaning the yard. But we'd rather be raking leaves than shoveling snow, guys. Yes, and I've been raking the leaves, so believe me, I, uh, for all my friends up north, I know it's, it's very cold. 
for sending some of our Florida heat and some warmness by giving you hugs <laughs> and uh, taking these videos out here. Thank you all for sharing and being part of us. <clears throat> and many of you guys know my mom from Family's Kitchen, okay? Um, Elaine's Family Kitchen. She's not on it a lot, um, but sometimes she goes on it. Uh, so check her out when she get back. She might just go on there for a couple times. And she like she sells food and so in Guyana she have a little a little shop that she sell uh, for the local folks there and everything. And she take orders things like that. So she can't wait to get back. She love cooking. She's not ready to come and live here. So she will be here for a little bit and then she will go back and be there for a little bit. <laughs> How you doing, mommy? <laughs> yeah, I just finished wash up the little dish and Sandy go just put in the, the bread and dice it. Yeah. So yeah. someone stole your seat again. You see me never watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stormy steals her seat when she gets up. Yeah. There's some nice music going on at the, about a quarter mile away. No, it's <laughs> not so far. <laughs> no, it's about three yards. Three hundred yards, yeah. About three, uh, oh, okay. three hundred yeah. yards away. Yeah. Uh, because we have two restaurants right here on the water and a marina. So right now it's pretty much season here in the Florida Keys, where or South Florida actually. When um, this is when a lot of nor northern people will come down here on vacation. So Florida Keys is busy right now. Oh, I never see they in the boat. Down yeah, there, so right? people are here, oh, yeah. and so all the restaurants there are a few walking distance, amazing restaurants on the water, and they all will have. Um, Live music, and live music, island so music. And we stuff. can sit here and hear the island music, and it's so nice. Like if we're part of it. Maybe yes. we'll take them by boat one night. Yeah, mommy likes it she, when mommy is in our um, what apartment. Yes. Yeah. Upstairs. No, it, well, we will. What the we loft. Call it? In her loft. No, but like in our tree house top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our tree house top, yeah, she'll hear, hear the music. Yeah, yeah I get up there. I like it. <laughs> coffee. Now, we, we are planning to um, put in a few lights and so around the property. Uh, I know it's really dark, just to when we are doing stuff outside. Because um, this is a sanctuary where we live, so you really can't have much light. You want, you want to protect the animals that are around here. You don't want to leave them too much bright lights, I feel, you know? Komati um, says she's shoveling snow right now in Canada. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I know. Everybody's negative. I, ca I called our friend Mike yes. the other day, and he was sh he went out his door, his, his shop door, and it was actually snowing. Everywhere was white, okay? I can only maybe like it for one day, two days tops, okay? So I I send my love to you. I live in Texas for a, little, for a while, and... Um, Sometimes Texas will drop 40 degrees in one day. So I've been through a little bit of snow and things like that. But this is so long ago, I can't really remember much. But I'm sending our love. Right, Mommy? We are in yeah. so much warm that we are saying, look how sunborn I am. Oh, you, got tan, you got a tan. Yes. <laughs> we are sunborn. And that's how much heat. We are staying here running and get some cool and go out back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Nice. Sorry for you guys that get in the cold, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we can't take it for like 15 minutes. That got too much of me. Yeah. So it's minus 44 somewhere in the summer, I think, Canada. Oh, my gosh. Mommy, but did you put Tomorrow will be negative 44. The right proper clothes. Wow. We should keep you warm. Oh. I think. Michelle, but yes, it's miserable. It's, Michelle it's, saying it's real nice in Guyana, though. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh nice i'm glad it's not raining there we need some rain guys so send some prayers you, wait, wait. for all the Can plants you, they said minus 44. minus 44. that's on can you fathom that? that i can't i, I think the most the colors i've been in for just a short time tell me it was minus 42. Wow. it was somewhere up in tennessee in the mountains that right. was the windshield factor but it was just to to be there for a second it was a tourist thing so just be there for a little bit but I can't imagine living no, in it, guys. I can't imagine. <laughs> much love. Yeah. I know. Very much love. Uh, okay. So thanks again, everyone. Um, who knows? We may come live when we're doing this, when uh, we're baking the salaro, at least when we're taking it out and cutting it. Send one love to Yessie. She says she's been shoveling nonstop and she wants to come down and get a tan. Oh, <laughs> Yessie, please. Yeah. All right. Okay, good night, guys. Good night. Have a wonderful and a blessed night. Love okay, you. Bye -bye. Love, love you. Love you guys.